focus is so slow, man. So now we can just remove it. That's it. That's the back cover. Now we're going to remove the, uh, see, I'm using it, using the guide, I fix it. So now, what we're going to do is disconnect the battery. So just go ahead and disconnect the battery. Just push away from it. like that and remove these three right here Let me go, uh, I was going to make a thing, a little chart to hold the battery, or the screws, I'm like, whatever. I don't really need it. Battery. Move the battery. You don't actually move it. That's the actual connector. So.
built the battery up and uh, close it to the motherboard and pull out the battery out the tester. There's two retainers here. Just gonna pull this up like that, so. So you can just take this off, this connector, tilt it up. The battery looks, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Next, remove this. This is the um, freaking uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter. That's easy, you can just pull it out. Let's pull this out. So two, two is that white one. And to pull out this, you're just gonna grab it here. Just like that. Take it off. <sighs> Next, pick up the drive. Should be easy for the drive. Drive is easy. I think I already took off the drive. No, there's uh, screws uh, right here at the bottom. It's three of them, but choose the one that looks obvious, and two up here. Damn, this shit's tight. Two of them are like 2.3 millimeters. This shit's getting stuck on there, so I'm gonna move a bit up. There you go. This one's a lot more better. And then there's one here. whole thing should pop up oh yeah there's cables here make sure you take off those cables take off those little cables and the caddy is out you can see it, cut, it pops up like that put your drive in for this so yeah Uh, I'm gonna just put all the screws, uh, like put them in the drive here. Shit. This one goes on the bottom.
Getting nervous, man. I don't have enough space for all this freaking stuff going on. That should come out. Now for the motherboard, this is the main course here. Uh, we'll start out by getting that cable near the top here. This one right here. Again, guys, if you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm just, I'm literally just following the guide. So. Okay. Yeah, just pull up this drive right here. Just like that. And then along the side here. Along the side here, there's a cable. Just go ahead and uh, just put directly away. Just go that way. Just gonna grab it. This, like that, not much. Take off that connector there. Connector. Sorry guys, I can't do the full angle. I'm just doing a time lapse or whatever, what have you. Okay. Um, there's a sponger, looks like it. It's like a cable here. It's for so yeah, you're just gonna you're gonna get this cable right here, and you're just gonna there's a flap here, so you can remove it. Let's see if it'll focus. There you go. So you're just gonna take off this uh, little cable there. See if I can zoom in more. Oh, that's all I can zoom. So yeah, you just take this white flap, flip it up, and then pull this tab and away from the connector. Like that. And get this tab here and pull it out. Okay. Okay, that's the, I believe that's for the uh, mouse pad, I believe, trackpad, I mean, and do the same with the bigger one, I forgot to do that, let me just do that. <laughs> So yeah, just take off this, uh, same process, um, lift up the thing, like that, it's so easy, and pull it out. Just like that. All right. I'm gonna keep it like this. Let's see. Let's see if I can do my work like this. All right. Never mind. Uh, next is there's a flap. 
flip the flap. Uh, it's right here. It's a little small one. It's a white and blue one. It's a white and blue one here. So, let's see if focus. So yeah. Oh. So yeah, there. I can't focus for a real long. There's this. You're just gonna flip this black thing up. Flip it up and do the same thing. These are all the same. You pull it out. That's it. Okay. Next is there's a cable next to here. That's for the, I believe, the IO. probably just going to like cut all this but so yeah there's a right here uh, just flip it up again I don't have a plunger so this is kind of unprofessional so just like that heard that snap pull on the cable and just like that let it sit there whatever I should leave it like that actually. That's a nice view. What I see too. I'm gonna remove that thing. See if it's in focus again. There you go. So yeah, last time we saw you guys, uh, we took out the fan, I believe. No, we took out this cable. Uh, now we're going to take out the fan. That's easy. You're just going to push out the uh, push out the connector here. It's right next to the fan. So yeah, just push this out uh, that way. Let me use my other thing. Yeah, just invest in one of those uh, definitely priors. I don't have one of those right now, but it should be fine. Anyways. Yeah, just push it out. I'm just going working side to side. Then after that, we can use the pliers here and just, there you go. Just like that, comes right off. So yeah. Uh, next, uh, we can, install the orange there's a couple screws here that you need to take off I believe we can use this one so there's one two three point three it's right here go ahead and take it off that's the two point three um, right here, um, the screw right here, three three point sevens right there. I'm gonna switch bits. Uh, that's a two point three. Another two point three. Use the thing again. It's 
still focusing, so we're good. Okay, next, uh, the fan. Yep, let me just take out the fan screws. Gonna... These are all the same, so it should be fine. three screws up here so I'll show you guys again what I just did so first ow. so first we took out this screw right here uh, we just took it out that's the only one 2.7 I think take it out the thing real quick. So yeah, uh, we took out that one next. Come on, focus. Okay. And then we took out this one uh, there and then that one there. So after that, we took out the fan screws. Uh, one, two, and then three. And then next, we're just going to take out these three. And the whole motherboard should pop out. These three right here. So. So yeah, I'm so hyped that, um, I can remove this and upgrade the, the parts. I'm gonna cut the video so that um, so I can show you guys how to install each part here up top. So that will be like another part here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it a little bit. I can't really at the side here so when you open it this this part this hinge will uh, lift up see that when I when I close it so yeah when it's closed you go ahead and grab the motherboard here yep just like that, it comes off so easily. Let me just get it out way here. So yeah, here is the new one. Uh, I just need to replace the, oh. so here is the new motherboard. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't have any RAM. So yeah, that pops up. Yeah, it doesn't have any RAM right now. Or the uh, CPU case, as you can see, you can see me there. I'm right there. Anyways, so yeah, it's it should be pretty easy. Just bolt on, uh, nothing to solder. Uh, so yeah, and there's the old one. Or yeah, they're like exactly the same. So I was happy. So we just need to take off this heat sink and the uh, apply some new thermal paste so i'll show you guys how to do that uh in a bit thanks so now we're gonna show you guys how to install the majority of this video um it's the uh, removal of the heat sink of the cpu fan here uh should be pretty easy so so what you're going to do is uh, and install these screws. Just put them right there. It's a quick install, so these are all the same, I believe. So 
actually it. Once you get them all uh, out, should be pretty easy. So yeah, once you get it off, it should just pop up. You guys saw that? It just popped up. And then this whole thing is one unit. So you have the heat uh, thermal paste here. It never focuses. Uh, almost there. So yeah, here's the thermal paste and it runs the, the heat. Uh, ex um, runs through this copper pipe into this heat sink uh, and then the blower motor of course cools down the CPU so so yeah that will be going exactly on here um, it doesn't look like it's any dust so we can just plant it right on top but first we need to clean up the uh, clean up the thermal paste excess thermal paste on here as you can see it's not going to go on like that so we're going to take our thermal paste um, there's no gray to this it's just a normal thermal paste and we're going to put it on to the other one so I'm going to take off the ram too so So we need to take off the take off the RF or Wi-Fi adapter here. So we're just gonna go ahead and take that off. So yeah, we're gonna take that off. It's easy. Just take a screwdriver. There you go. So 2.37 again. That's our Wi Fi adapter. If you guys didn't have to see one of these before, that's a Wi Fi adapter. There. So I'm just going to install So yeah, just go ahead and 
I didn't install it like super hard. I didn't show you guys the install. It was kind of hard, but yeah, we're just gonna install the uh, heat sink after I clean it. I put the screws on first before the heat sink, but that's I just held it down the the black part, I guess. So after that, you're just going to place it on there straight on. Okay, just like that. It's just the black part will get the heat sink if it goes over. Keep the heat in. So I'll go ahead and screw this in. Get a screw on here. Go ahead and hold the middle. Okay, that's one side, other side, again, crisscross pattern, it'll apply even pressure so the heat sink or the, the thermal paste will apply evenly, okay, and the other side. Okay, that should be it for, I think there's a little bit more stuff we need to do, but uh, yeah, let me just get you guys in closer. So to, this is our old RAM. This is our old RAM. See, it has a thermal pad on there. What you're gonna do is take off the thermal pad and uh, go ahead and put it onto the new one. So go ahead and open your new memory here. It's just a DDR3 1600, uh, I think low power or something like that. I just got this on sale. Go ahead and open it. That's our memory, as you can see. Check if they're the same. Oh, they're not the same, fuck. Well. the wrong memory man oh well so yeah you gotta check it make sure you check your memory so I'm gonna install the old RAM since I got the unfortunately I got a smaller size for like another laptop but that's kind of unfortunate um, but we can still install this one it's still not it's not gonna be the the full capacity but all we can do is make sure it works so to install it it's just match the slots and should line up just like that and go ahead and push down that's in and close the encasing Dang, dude, I thought I would hit something right there. Fuck.
from living the thing in the old one either. One out of sixteen. Disconnecting from the RPA. So turns out the memory ah, the memory didn't work, so that's why you read I did read, but there's so much confusion about like which model. This is goes for the Q304 UA BT uh, 11 or 115, right? And then I looked at the model. It says DDR3. I like put hooked up the DDR3. The DDR3 didn't work. Looked it up again. The notches don't work. So I already know if the notches don't the the, the So if the if the um, I was talking about if the notches don't line up, it's a DDR4 because it's designed to not if it if it's designed to make sure you don't you know mess it up. This is like probably the newbiest move, but I you know this is my first laptop and I just wanted to make sure I wanted to make clear that DDR3 does not work on this laptop. It takes DDR4. So let's move on. So let's go ahead and install the uh, what are we installing the motherboard so we're just going to do the steps again if you guys haven't seen like what i was doing i'm just following the uh installation by uh, i fix it uh, they provided a motherboard installation uh guide so people like us will actually um learn how to take this off so let's go ahead and uh go in reverse order the last thing we did was uh, take out the motherboard and put it back in. That's easy. Uh, go ahead and make sure all the cables are out of the way. And this should line up. Go ahead and lift that up. there take off all the tabs getting all the way where's my tweezers there, that one's out there's a pin here make sure you put in the pin and it's pretty much a identical fit so now we can go in reverse order, uh, put back these screws. Yeah, we're just going to line it up like that. screws take one screw all the way in then that should hold the motherboard.
Man, that really sucks that the laptop memory. It's always confusing. That's probably the one thing I learned. Uh, is that check your memory. If it's compatible, you dig. They installed a fan or a heat sink. The thing is, I went so went back and forth on the RAM. Which RAM do I get? Are you sure it's this one? Which model? Oh my god, dude. It's so complicated compared to like PCs. I can see why. It's not lighting up here. Install one of them first. It's not grabbing, so the uh, fan wasn't seating right, so I just pushed it in. It should screw all the way now. Okay, next is to install the motherboard. It's a smaller one, so make sure you line it up correctly. the last one it's pretty it's pretty easy I, I would say this whole thing was pretty easy there's nothing hard about it just the parts the parts you have to get right install the motherboard Put in the fan connector. Uh, the I.O. now. I.O. cable is in. Next is the this top area. It's like a ribbon.
Okay, and the motherboard or the display, I think. This is the display, because it's a bigger cable, right? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's in. And the trackpad. This connector here. Okay, there's this cable here on the side, or on the top I mean, slaps right on. in next is the hard drive so i'm going to show you guys how to install that okay for the hard or the ssd i went with a 240 uh, pny uh it's fast it's uh it's 2.5 <laughs> um not a lot so let's go ahead and open this oops so yeah i didn't go for a hard drive i went for the ssd that's a must upgrade um, fortunately the RAM is not here or it's wrong so it's gonna have to wait so here's the SSD is a cable no that's it this comes in like that bow right there everybody know what an SSD does to the laptop uh, so we're just gonna install the caddy which is over here Um, just get a better view. I have screws here from the last time I upgraded. Just gonna go ahead and open it. Uh, that's the screws. Oops. Okay. Those are the screws for the caddy. And you're just gonna install it like that. Goes in like this. Oh, and you make sure you line it up correctly. Should be good. Uh, there you go. Get stuck. After that, you're going to install these screws that came with the thing, of course. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, take out these screws here.
I don't know why I put it in tape, but. Okay, let's go ahead and install the SSD. Dang, I was really hoping to get that RAM in, but you know, now <laughs> not everything goes to plan, you know. Come on. Come on, brother. Okay, now we got that done. Uh, make sure you install it correctly. Put on the uh, cables here. Install the hard drive. Okay. Um, install this little cable for I think this is the all right this is the SATA I believe. All right, that's in. Uh, install the SSD. Just plug it in. It's pretty straightforward. It only goes in one way. Well, I can install it like that, but.
Okay. So we got that installed. Um, I believe we need to install the RF cables. So the white one is on two. So, well, if you get it wrong, you just switch it, but. She literally got outside. So, just go ahead and install the cables. For the... Wi-Fi. Okay. that and then we install the battery and install the battery um, plug in the battery Install the screws on here. Okay, things lined up there. Now for the battery, just going to plop it right on top. Right on top, then push it in. There you go, it's in now. And everything's good. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to just, um, we're just going to put on the plate. I'm not going to screw it in yet, so check out these screws. Install the back plate, make sure everything's aligned. Okay, snap it all back up a little bit. Okay, now we're in the, the part, juicy part of the video here. Just going to plug in. Plug in the power and see if it works. So, so we're getting a charging light and that's great. We're getting power and you can see how we're gonna turn it on. Whee, here we go. Opening up the laptop. Now, what you want to hear is the fan spinning. You want to hear the uh, lights turn on, etc. So let's go ahead, turn it on. Let it 
charge. Right when I, right when I almost didn't make it work. So uh, let me just show you guys a better angle here. Dang, that glare. Okay, so now that's a great sign. Getting that uh, signal to the screen is pretty good. So we're in the BIOS mode, I believe. Uh, it shows the memory. So yeah, it shows the memory, it shows the CPU fan. I don't know if that's supposed to turn on uh, later on, but I think I think it's good. So uh, we got some uh, the battery level, of course. Uh, BIOS version, integrated, i5. Yeah. Now we're gonna see if it'll boot from uh from the uh, SSD and then we'll see how it goes so now the the fan is spinning so that's great you can see it was at zero I can hear it spinning I can feel it uh, you guys can hear that that's the fan it's, uh, so I think trackpad works if we um, boot priority, not sure if it's reading the thing. Boot menu. Not finding any bootable. going to go and get my Windows disk I turned off a uh, US I think fast boot I believe Let's see if that works yeah, good. okay um, F8 12 F8 F8 The battery's getting a charge, that's nice. Um, oh. Why? Hey guys, I'm back. Looks like I got it figured out. Mm. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Hold on, let me... I'm, I'm going to show you guys real quick before I end the video. Um, this is how I did it, pretty much. Okay, it keeps looping. Take off the USB real quick. Um, it it it's pretty stupid actually. Um, basically, how it went is okay. Hold on. What basically happened was uh, 
I had it on a certain mode. I'll show you guys right now. So in the screen up here is I just searched up how to boot from USB drive. Um, it's pretty dumb. I mean, yeah. Uh, basically, you go into your security and you disable um, your secure bu boot. <laughs> boot. Uh, you go ahead and disable that. And um, for this, go into your boot and enable this CSM thing. And then you should be able to boot from there. Um, before it, it couldn't recognize, I guess that's a laptop thing. It couldn't recognize uh, what it was doing. So I just had to do that real quick. You guys didn't know. There you go. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm kind of cleaning up. Um, yeah. And the memory, I got to figure out. So uh see you guys later um it's been a journey literally this thing is uh it's pretty hassle it's a hassle man definitely definitely a learning task on this laptop and uh hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned and uh see you guys later peace